Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. My name is Jessica, if you're new here, and I'm a woman that's in long-term recovery, and on my channel, I like to make videos about recovery and different recovery pathways, substance use disorder, and all kinds of different things, to be honest with you. And today is kind of a special video. I wanted to come on today and talk to you guys because today is International Overdose Awareness Day. And two weeks ago, I made a video about today, um, just kind of giving you guys like the backstory about International Overdose Awareness Day, how it came to be, you know, the history and all that, because um, <laughs> I just ate a piece of pizza. So if you guys saw that uh, piece of crust fly out of my mouth, sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm recording on my phone because I have a lot of stuff that I need to do today. And... Um, I'm just, to be honest with you, I'm just struggling. Uh, I've had like a three-day migraine, and today is the first day that I have felt any semblance of okay. And uh, as you all know, there's a lot of heavy stuff going on in the world right now. And to be completely honest with you guys, I like, I struggled over the weekend um even before my migraine started i struggled a lot with whether to make this video or not because of everything that is going on in the world right now because of everything going on in afghanistan um because of the hurricane because of the pandemic um you know just everything that's going on right now because i didn't want you guys to think that i was being insensitive about those other topics but what it comes down to and what I finally decided is obviously to make this video. Um, I'm not belittling or, you know, anything like that. Any of those other situations that are going on right now, they are weighing really heavily on my mind. But what it comes down to is that no matter what is going on in the world, the dope man's house is still open. And... You know, I've always realized that because I used for such a very long time. Uh, you guys know that I used for 14 years. And during that time, you know, there were a lot of things that happened in the world, in my life personally. But in the world, there were a lot of things that went on. And regardless what happened in the world, hurricanes, uh, you know, really bad flu seasons, not saying that we had a pandemic or anything because we didn't, but you know, uh, my dope man's house never closed. And when I was dealing, I never stopped dealing. So, uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to make this video. Another reason why I decided to make this video is because today is more about a day of remembrance. International Overdose Awareness Day is to help lower the stigma of substance use disorder. But one of the main focuses of today is so that family members and loved ones who have lost someone due to an overdose or an overdose incident have a place to go and celebrate their loved ones without feeling any stigma or, you know, any judgment or anything like that. If you go to an overdose awareness event or anything, it gives you a safe place to celebrate your loved one. And that for me was the deciding factor about making my video <clears throat> because, you know, you just can't skip over to that. And all of the people that we have lost to overdose, we could have saved all of those people. And this disease is wiping us out and we really need to start doing better, y'all. We really gotta start doing better about this because overdose deaths are completely preventable. And I know that you guys hear me talk about this in my videos. Um, if you follow me on social media, you hear me talk about it, you know, on my social media, on my stories or on my post or, you know, on my TikTok videos, that's still weird to say, but <clears throat> they are. They're completely preventable. Um, that's why I always encourage everybody to carry Narcan, get trained in how to administer Narcan, um, you know, get trained in harm reduction techniques, 
If you are in active use, I always encourage people to never use a loan uh, to test your, test your supplies, test your product, go slow. Um, and I know, um, you know, I know how sometimes in certain situations that that can be really hard to do, especially if you've been sick and, you know, you finally get good. I know how hard that is to go slow, but if it can save your life, please, I'm begging you, please go slow. Um, so I hope that you guys, uh, are going to, if you have the, you know, availability, if your community is doing an overdose event today, I hope that you guys um, are going to go and participate in them. And if you do go, please let me know because I would love to hear about them. Uh, I think everywhere does them different. I do have one that is going on um, in a town that's like one over from me this evening. It's actually one that I normally go to. They didn't have it last year because of COVID. But I was happy to see that they're going to do it again this year. And it's where I got my shirt from and I'm wearing it says and overdose on the front i had to cut the top of it off because i don't like crap up around my neck but <laughs> i don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not but that's the back of it as we all know i'm not a very good filmer i'm like the least uh talented youtuber that's out here <laughs> but um that's the shirt that i got when i when I went to the last one, I really hope that I'll be able to go this evening because I would love to go just to support um, my local community and, you know, be there for anybody that God puts there for me. Um, I have a little store of Narcan saved up. I don't have a lot, unfortunately, but I do have a little store of it saved up and if I can go, um, I'm gonna take it with me. So if anybody needs to be trained, I can train them. Or if anybody, excuse me, just needs it, I'm gonna take it with me. Um, that will depend on how my head cooperates and how my mental health cooperates today because, um, like I said earlier, you know, I just, uh, I'm not just, I've just been struggling the last couple of days and you know, sometimes that just happens and that's okay. And what is that saying that everybody says all the, that say, everybody says it all the time. It's okay to not be okay. Um, <laughs> it really is. And most of the time I hate cliched sayings, uh, but it really is okay to not be okay. Um, you just have to learn when it's time to take a step back and take care of yourself and <clears throat> anyway um you know take care of yourself but if you guys go to any of your um if your local community is having any overdose awareness day events or anything like that i know that there's quite a few online um if this is the first that you're hearing about it and it's, you know, too short a timing or if you don't feel comfortable going out and being around a lot of people right now because of everything that's going on, I completely understand that. Um, you can just Google it and there is, um, I saw quite a few the other day when I was looking it up to see if my local area was having one. Uh, there's quite a few that you can actually participate just online so you can do it from the safety of your home. I highly encourage that you guys do it participate whatever way that you feel comfortable um right now because like I said yeah it is a place it's an event where you can go and you know you can learn a lot of times you can go and get trained and how to administer Narcan you can get Narcan if you don't have Narcan but it really is a place for families and loved ones um to celebrate people that they have lost to an overdose and to do so in a safe place where they don't have to worry about, you know, combating all that stigma. Because anytime you lose a loved one, that's a hard enough situation as it is. But unfortunately, when you lose a loved one and then you tell the general public or you tell someone, you know, someone asks you, oh, how did they pass? And you tell them that it was an overdose, 
There's a lot of stigma that comes with that, unfortunately. And that's what today is all about. Um, you know, it's all about being able to just remember your loved ones and all the good things about them. You know, how they made you smile and all the times that you laughed with them and had good memories with them and <clears throat> just all the things that you love about them and not have to worry about all that stigma. So I personally have lost um, a lot of people to overdose and, you know, one is way too many. I would love to not ever lose anybody to another overdose and, you know, I hope and pray that I don't ever lose anybody to another overdose, but I also know that realistically speaking, that's probably not going to happen because this disease is wiping us out left and right, unfortunately. So, um, I'm going to keep this video pretty short today. I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys, you know, to go to events if you have them in your community. Or like I said, if you don't feel comfortable going out because of everything that's going on or, um, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, participate in one that you can go to online and just show your support that way. I can tell you um, from someone that has lost many people, uh, some that I wasn't close to at all, I just knew as an acquaintance, but some that I've been very, very close to that your support and just your participation in this event, in any of these events, means a lot um, to the friends and family members of people that are there at those events that have lost people to an overdose. It means a lot to them. Um, so you guys go, it's an all around win. Uh, like I said, you can get uh, Narcan, you can get training. If the weather's nice and it's not unbearably hot, it gives you an evening out of the house, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, you can also learn a lot. I know at our local one, you we usually have like a speaker and, you know, someone care. Sorry, <laughs> words are hard sometimes. <laughs> Um, but we usually have a speaker and someone that is in recovery now, um, will come and share their story and, uh, I've never had to get up there and share my story like that at an overdose awareness event, but my hat's off to them because standing up there in front of everybody is a daunting task, but they get up there and they share their story about, um, you know, their addiction and how they found their way to recovery and a lot of people that get up there and share their story have overdosed uh, once or multiple times. And by whatever means, you know, whatever saved them, whether it was someone Narcan in them or uh, an emergency personnel being there or, you know, someone calling 911 for them, whatever the case may be, by the grace of God, they're still standing here today to share their story. And I know for me personally, and everybody that I work with in this field and that I talk to in this field, um, we that's our goal. We want everybody that suffers with this disease, um, you know, we want everybody to be able to stand up one day and say, you know, yeah, that was my story, but it's not my story anymore. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, you know the drill. If you need Narcan uh, or if you need to be trained in how to administer Narcan, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can save a life. You really can. Uh, overdose deaths are completely 100% preventable. And um, the training takes a very small amount of time. I'll send you the Narcan for free. Uh, so, uh, all my other resources, as always, are in my description box below, you guys. So, if you need anything, uh, not just Narcan, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, take care of yourselves, you guys, and take care of each other. Be nice to each other. Um, and especially today, uh, I feel like International Overdose Awareness Day should probably be every day, not just one day out of the year, but one day will work. Uh, you guys 
remember it every day because we're losing a lot of our people out there. So, uh, if you guys go to an event or if you've been to an event before, I would love for you to share your experience with it with me if you are comfortable doing so. So, leave it in the comments below. Um, I will see you guys actually again tomorrow uh, for my regular upload. I'm not going to skip that one because I did today. So, I will see you guys again tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, I just wanted to do this one to kind of... It's a special video for today because today means a lot to me. I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow.